Army's search for the program's first Patriot League championship fell short after Saturday's semifinal loss to the tournament's top seed Bucknell, but that did not change what this season has meant for a trio of West Point seniors. Ella Ellis, Jordan Springer, and Jason Panko will remember this basketball season for the rest of their lives, and so will the record books. Army collected the most Patriot League wins in school history en route to posting the first winning season since 1985. On Saturday, they battled Bucknell to the brink, taking the lead late, but the Bison pulled away to end the Black Knights' remarkable season. I couldn't be more proud of the guys in our program. They wore West Point in their chest today. And uh, although the score may not indicate it, every single player in our locker room, and especially these three seniors, are flat out winners. And I couldn't be more proud of them. Ellis, who was the team's leading scorer with 17.7 points per game, scored 11 on Saturday night in a physical contest with Bucknell. Surrounded by a strong freshman group, Ellis and the Black Knights took a 61-59 lead with 4.52 left. But Bison sharpshooter Bryson Johnson nailed a three to put Bucknell up for good. It was a big shot by him. Big shot. I mean, if you look at his career, he's hit big shots. Um, but then I think we were able to come back and they got a run out. But uh, it was a big sequence. Uh, I thought we did a good job. I mean, what, what did Johnson end up with today? Uh, two for seven from three. Uh, I think for those of you that has followed him, that's the greatest three-point shooter in the history of the Patriot League. I mean, he's used words and adjectives like that, usually it's inaccurate. That's a fact. The greatest shooter in the history of the league, we've had him to two for seven. So I'll happily take that. Spiker will also embrace the success that the three seniors have ushered in this season. Ellis and Springer have helped lead Army on the court, while Panko, who sat out because of an injury, led from the bench. We've got a group of guys here that really compete. Three seniors that are going to go on and do special things. Everyone's a college basketball player and everyone likes to call themselves a leader. These three guys are leaders worth following. And not every college basketball player is a leader worth following. I couldn't be more proud of these guys. What they've done, what they're going to do. And if you look at the history books in Army basketball, these three names will forever be linked with a group that changed our culture. Changed our culture. And hopefully we impacted them in a positive way along the way. I can tell you right now, our program is better for having Jason Panko, Jordan Springer, and L. Ellis in our program. And I couldn't be more proud of having the opportunity to coach them for the four years. But I, I just have a ton of respect for Zach, his staff, his guys. Uh, their system is really challenging to defend. Uh, but I think then one of the other things now is that they're playing much more physically on the defensive end. And really, you know, they're becoming a complete team. and. And uh, I just think he's done a, a, a phenomenal job with that team, with that program. You know, just a lot of respect for him and, and, and how they, they played. And, you know, I just felt like I'd been through a prize fight, and I'm sure our guys felt the same way. And, and, and that's what you should have is uh, those are two good teams really duking it out, playing at a pretty darn high level. That's a good semifinal game for a pitcher league. And while the three Army seniors would rather have walked away from the semifinal with a win, they can still look back on what was a very special season. I think uh, watching that game, I think it's pretty obvious um, how special this team is, how special this program is. Um, there was such a, I don't know, a resolve about the way we played, um, the way we compete, and uh, that uh, that hasn't been the case. You know, we're been knocking on the door for a while, um, but I think we've set the foundation for the group to kick the door down. Um, and uh, there's only special things that await this program. Season was uh, special because we all came together with a young group of guys. It's only us three to motivate them and push them to break the culture of losing. And um, we did that. We there was a lot of there were a lot of close games. It could have been a much better season, but. We still stuck stuck with it. We, we grinded out every every practice and every game, and we uh, we worked for this winning season. That's what makes it special. I don't know. I think it's definitely a special season because coach always talked to us about leaving a legacy. Um, and you know, in the past years, maybe we this program hasn't been as winning as it, as it should have been. And you know, as seniors, we were given the chance to lead to lead a you know a freshman laden team into you know the depths of the Patriot League. You know, and we came out successful. Um, first winning season in 20 years. Um, that's why this season is special. This season is special because of the bonds we made with the freshmen and other and our other teammates. Um, that's something that time will never break. And next year and the years past, we'll always come back and we'll come and watch them. Y'all see us in the stands supporting them. Um, 
and even after they graduate, we'll be there for them.